Well, first, Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT, was only really useful to astronomers. It wasn't part of our daily life. But this all changed with the invention of the chronometer, this portable, accurate sea clock. Now, for centuries, mariners had tried to measure their position at sea using the sun and stars. For your latitude, you can use the sun during the day and the stars at night. And then you can also try and measure your longitude. But this is really difficult because there's no natural equivalent to the equator. Where does longitude begin and end? Where is your zero point? So the idea was to use a clock as a reference time. The Earth rotates on its axis once every 24 hours. So that's 360 degrees divided by 24, gives us 15 degrees per hour. So if you know your local time where you are, and then you look at a clock and you see what time it is back home, you can use the time difference as a measure of your longitude difference. So for example, a three hour time difference would indicate that you're 45 degrees longitude away from home. But the problem was that clocks were really not very accurate at that time. So it was a real challenge to try and do this until 1714 when the British government offered a life-changing financial reward to anyone who could make longitude a real viable solution. Eventually, the carpenter turned clockmaker John Harrison developed marine timekeepers that later paved the way for chronometers. 